Now, what is your opinion on ad libs in a song? Um, it depends on what type of song. If you just doing some A B C D E F G, like they really count because it fill up and fill up. But then some people you can't say that because my boy Shiesty and Thirty, like they ad libs make they song like, like when I record them with Thirty or Shiesty, like they how we perfect the verse, they perfect they ad libs like. So it de it depends. It depends and then. Like, and that's kind of your signature, signature, like Dirk, man, what? Like, all that shit do count for real, for real. What's your personal strategy when it comes to your own ad libs? I just be talking with this shit. I like to be like, you know, I just, whatever come to my head, for real, I just, it depends on like the vibe of the song. Some songs don't need ad libs, like when you talking, when, when you talking about like, it depends, it depends, it depends on the, the energy of the song. Do you have a signature ad lib by any chance? Duty in this bitch, hey. <laughs> and what's the meaning to that particular ad lib of yours? I was high as hell one time. And every time I come in, I'm duty in this bitch. So when I'm singing, I just duty in this bitch and I threw that A at the end. Do you remember what you were high off of at that time in your life? when you created that? My baby, I love her so much. Wap, Keisha. Do you remember how that ad lib originated? Excuse me, not how. Do you remember the song, the first song that ad lib originated on? I can't go. It's, I don't know. I've been seeing duty in this bitch for a long time. And I ain't even really no ad lib for real. I stole all folks in them ad libs. <laughs> and what's been the reaction to that signature ad lib of yours? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I was trying. Look, I was doing whippets one time, man. I done got. I don't do it no more. But I was doing whippets. And um, one day I'm on I'm on Facetime one of one of my brothers, and then I'm like this. I'm trying to hide the phone, so I, and so I'm talking like, oh, what the fuck? And then he like, say your, he said, say the duty in this bitch, hey, that is funny as hell. And he crazy. I was having a meeting one day. I was having a meeting about some millions. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm talking. I'm, oh, oh. This motherfucker smart come in. He tell me so. Duty be doing BB gun juice. I look, I said, man, you crazy. We talking about some money. <laughs> well, yeah, that was funny as hell, man. He said BB gun juice. You know, weapons like the little CO2 cotton you put in the BB gun. That motherfucker call it BB gun juice. Say he crazy. I'm talking about millions. <laughs> Shout out my brother. But not biologically related, just using the phrase brother. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even think blood make people like it. People that's blood be more forward than them motherfuckers I done met two, three years ago. Now, do fans say it in comments on social media to you or in person when they see you? That signature ad lib of yours. Nah, they favorite thing to say is, um, like if I take a picture with a fan, they be like, it's just me and Duty Lowe's. Like that, that's their favorite. That's like a... Not an ad lib though, that's like a verse out of the uh, me and Vaughn song, me and Doody Law. Now have you heard other recording artists copy or steal this ad lib of yours? No, because it's my name, for real. But maybe not, maybe taking your name out of it, but saying so-and-so name in, in, in this, this bitch. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, I ain't gonna say no names, but salute to them. Is that flattering or annoying to you? It's flattering. <laughs> you got me doing something right, motherfucker. Copy. Now, some publicly call people out over this. Some privately call people out over this. And some stay silent about it. What's your policy? Stay silent. I might laugh, sneak this to the guys about this shit, but it ain't nothing that's funny for real. That's when you know you're doing something right and people watching you for real. 
Now, just to be fair, you mentioned that you've done sort of the same thing yourself in a sense. You've, I can't remember the words exactly you said. But oh, I asked the old folks them. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Has anybody ever called you publicly out, privately out, over stuff like that? I don't know, because we all is one. We help each other. So it's like, I wouldn't even say stolen because it's, it's ours. We're a family. Now, ever created a song with no ad-libs? Yeah, that's why I go back to it. When you're really talking about something like that, real, like, like touch and stuff, it's like, because it's like, people listening to the words more, the, the verse, than not the ad-libs. If there was a circle chart of 100%, what percentage would you say are songs of yours with ad libs versus no ad libs? Um, Rough estimate. I say like 80% ad libs, 20, not. When it comes to collaborating with other recording artists, have you ever added your ad libs to another artist's verse on that same song? Yeah, a lot of features be wanting me to do that. What are your thoughts on songs with just a featured artist ad libs, but no hook or verse from them? That shit gonna be pop shit, Duke. Just ad libs? Yes. So I'll give you an example if you want one. No, I know what you're saying. Like a song with just ad libs. Wait, 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 wait. A song with just a featured artist ad libs, but no hook or verse from them on that song. And But it's a song by a feature. Let me give you an example. Okay. Kanye West has a song called Can't Tell Me Nothing, Jeezy ad-libs, but no hook or verse from Jeezy on that song. I never knew that. See, that's wrong. But, oh, I got a song like that. I, I had, um, see, Vaughn used to be cold with the ad-libs. I got a song, though, I think I did. It ain't no, I had Dirk do the ad-libs. Why didn't that song ever see the light of day? No, nah, it's going to see the light of day. It just ain't no change. Anything else you want to mention about ad libs or question you weren't asked, people want to know about them. Go get a DJ Smalls water on the ad libs. And one more follow up question about ad libs. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you have a song with another artist's ad libs, but no hook or verse from them. But has anybody asked you to do the same? Yes. Have you, in fact, ended up doing that? Yeah. Yeah, what's that song? Oh, my brother, Zoo Out, uh, Zoo, THF Zoo. He, he hate ad libs. As soon as he, he finished the song, he, bro, he would do the ad libs. And I do it just because I be wanting to see him to keep going. Because he, uh, like, he, he the type of person, like, he don't like his music. But, he, he feed off other people energy, so he don't really like ad libs, so he'll come grab me because I'm going to do it because I know it's going to make him keep going. But he doesn't ask you for an additional hook or verse, just wants your ad libs on there. Hell no, nah, his ass didn't ask for a hook. All type of shit. <laughs> Zoo crazy. But he got to be in the mode. When he get in the mode, he, he, he do it himself. But... All of us like that. Even when it comes to Dirk, like he feed off the energy. Like we all feed off each other energy. Like, like, yeah. So all of us do that. For, for everybody do that kind of. And you mentioned the phrase family. Mm -hmm. Are you biologically related to anybody on OTF? I don't think blood will make us closer. So yeah. I don't think blood will make us any closer though. Like. That's the only thing that'll make us closer, that's biological. 